Hi Anusha, do we wait or start? There are still people in the main room, I think. You are muted. I think we can start and then if there are questions, we can come back. We just, people could catch up. There may be also people who are juggling between rooms. Yes. Ah. Good evening, everyone. So here we will talk a, a little bit in detail about the BA Demet program, which is an innovative program because it's one of its kind, which is of a three years, which gives you, a, you know, op option to, uh, have two degrees within two years, which are within three years. Otherwise, in in anywhere else, it takes two years for B. Ed. and then another two years for M. Ed. Um, next slide, please. Um, you have. So this is a full time. We we call it B. Ed. M. Ed. Integrated Program. Total credits uh, for three years are one twenty. But as we'll move further, you will get to know how they are divided because there it is what makes it unique is uh, our features that we will talk about. But before that, why you should do BA Demet with us? It's because we, like Rekha in the common room has shared that we, we have international recognition for education innovations. Uh, we have extensive experience in field action and field informed pedagogies and experiences across states and countries. Uh, we have expert faculty, which is very active in different uh, uh, research programs. Uh, as we will move further, you will get to know that we have at our center research groups which organize themselves around a specific uh, projects uh, and disciplines. Uh, we have uh, we been known for our innovations in ICT use in education and uh, we heavily invest in professional development. We also take care uh, of placements of our students and there are proper programs, uh, there are uh, competency building workshops, there are center-based, institution-based placement program. We provide uh, student support uh, uh, to uh, students who need it and which also includes financial aid of different types based on which are need-based aids. Yes, Anusha, thank you. Next. So uh, as I said that at the center, we are about six research groups. Uh, as you can see on the screen, we have science and mathematics education research group. We have inclusive education research group, teacher education and professional learning research group, education development and policy research group, ed tech research group, critical humanities and social sciences research group. So what do these research groups do? They basically anchor your research as well as your experiences throughout the course. Uh, during, uh, you know, uh, uh, very specific focused uh, uh, talks, seminars, and we have an option, as you'll see that it's not an option. In fact, we have a very important component of research in our programs, and those research are guided through these research uh, groups. Uh, apart from these, uh, research groups are also, uh, you know, they take care of our state engagements, uh, which involves projects of various kinds. And uh, we will tell you more on that as to different research groups, groups are responsible for different research projects. And you get an opportunity to engage uh, with uh, uh, state uh, you know, departments and officials through those uh, projects of ours through our field action, attach, field attachment programs and also internships of various kinds. Yes, thank you. Next, please. So what are the key features of our program? One, we provide enhanced scope of educational exploration. And what do we mean by that? So basically, it's not a degree where you come, you do your papers and you go. We have focused on 
wider spectrum of you know uh, all the uh, educational foundational courses which then uh, uh, Pro along with that, we provide competency courses and then very rich field program, field experience along with research experience. Now, as you will see that in most of the programs across con uh, country in BA programs, there is zero research content. There is no research experience. But here, the way we have spanned it out, you get a thorough research experience along with field experience, which also gets limited to school internship in other courses across, uh, you know, country in other universities and institution here. It is a it's quite apart from your school internship, you get very rich field experience program as well as research uh, experience uh, through your research dissertation con content in the program. We also uh, abide by integrated approach, which is discipline based yet integrated and what do we mean by it that you know we we have been trying and we have been successful to build a community of practitioners who are teachers future teachers want to be teachers in service pre-service and we have one winter uh, school which we organize every year where we we invite people from across the country and abroad to participate in a residential school where you get to meet fellow uh, pre-service uh, educators of, of countries and uh, that's one of the highlight through which we are trying to build a very solid community of practitioners. We also focus on um, innovation and inclusion and our, it, it, that's not just through our curriculum but also through practices and our pedagogies. Um, we also uh, uh, provide very extensive school internship which runs for almost an year and you know you have uh, almost your two semesters goes into a school internship with 20 credits all reserved for a school internship which gives you a very thorough professional experience of becoming a teacher. Um, we have opportunities opportunities for specialization in diverse domain of education. As you know that education is, is it's interdisciplinary, you transdisciplinary, multidisciplinary, and all of it comes together. You have education policies on one hand, yeah. you have education administration on the other, you have philosophies, you have your core disciplines in education. Along with that, you have fundamental numeracy, literacy, technology, and whatnot. So you can choose. Uh, you know, we have designed a curriculum in a way that you can choose to specialize, a, specialize in one of the several areas within the larger discipline of education. We uh, like, you know, I've, I'm repeating here again myself that professional development is at the core of our BA MED program because it is a professional degree and uh, we ensure it with a thorough field exposure and research uh, exposure ex as well. Now let's come to the structure of the program. Uh, so it's a three year with an exit option after two year and an entry option in the second year. Uh, what, uh, how does it look like that comes in the, yeah. So uh, when you enter uh, in the first year and you continue till the third year, you get a do you get integrated degree, be it and Emmet. But if you plan to exit after two years, which will mean that you have completed 80 credits out of 20, 120 and then you you will exit with a degree uh, which is a BA degree. But if you've already done your bachelor's in elementary education, your bachelor's in education, BA lit, BA, then you may just come to us for MED and that option is open. You can enter into this ongoing course in the second year of it and then you Again, you take up only 80 credits. So you uh, 40 are done in the first year. You're not concerned with it. We assume that you are coming to us with that knowledge, which we do here in the, uh, in the first two semester. Once you enter here, then you exit with MA degree. So it's, it's, it's a course where uh, there are a lot of possibilities. Uh, there are possibilities to exit with a BA degree. There's a possibility to enter with a BA degree to come and do MA degree and there's a possibility to enter with just a graduation or post graduation in any other discipline and then do a BA MA integrated degree. 
um you want me to pause and ask some question on this structure or you would want me to continue with the structure further so we can do it so uh let's look at the structure um so on your screen you have uh first two semesters like um you know shown which is basically if you're coming to us for ba demet and just ba this is what your year one looks like it is a combination of foundation courses core courses and elective courses and um we have foundation courses are related to educational studies your core courses are also a uh, very thorough theoretical courses in educational uh uh studies as well as uh, uh, all other aspects which 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 encompasses professional competencies and professional formation uh professional formation is about uh, gaining experience in these schools professional competencies on the other hand is you know what makes you a thorough profession when you choose to go in any field of education be it you know um, ed tech be it ngos be it uh, uh, public consultancies so what all competencies one person may require as a graduate of education those are lined up in our professional competency courses uh, elective courses are about which pedagogy you want to specialize in we offer five pedagogic specialization and this is where you must pay attention that we offer pedagogic specialization in english language so we do offer pedagogic specialization in language but not just in any language only in english science mathematics social sciences so these are a pedagogic specialization you also have field attachment like i said that is an important component that you would not otherwise find in any other ba demet courses and this is apart from your school internship um you have education uh, you have sociology of education education psychology as your core uh, you can go through them so these are your educational study course and then um elective would be your pedagogic specialization you continue with your uh, you know same elective and you go thorough with your specialization you opt for one in semester 1 then it continues as a two in the semester 2 there is uh, uh, and then there are essential components which are mandated by ncte which involves classroom observation so those are also very much part of our program uh your year 2 uh would again be a combination of core and elective foundations will not be uh, given here those we do in the year 1 uh your school internship continues as a core component of your ba program um uh, again your pedagogic specialization continue because we we give you thorough knowledge of uh, what your a pedagogic specialization would entail so it, it's around understanding the discipline to understanding its pedagogic principle to practice it in the school intern while in school internship to also understand the kinds of assessment so it is a it's a step by step progression to to get thorough with your pedagogic specialization semester by semester then there is since research dissertation or capstone project is an important aspect of our programs then we give you thorough knowledge of educational research and this is how we prepare you to be the profession who may not professional who may not want to be a teacher but a researcher so you know your journey starts right here with us in semester 4 itself you would see that there are credit variations here that is to uh basically uh, to adjust the if someone wants to exit after this year then they exit with 80 credits to maintain that we have credit variation in year 2 one semester is of 18 another is of 24 you have theater art and communication as an important component of your ba demet program because theater in education appreciation of art having a very solid communication all which we think is essential to becoming a teacher so those are all there next and now we enter into the final year which is which comprises of semester 5 and 6 here again it is a combination of core and elective 
uh, but you see that there is an essential component which comes in the form of research or capstone. So your year three as an MED because you it is assumed and it is not just assumed but that's the uh, the way we go forward in educational studies that if you are uh, uh, thinking yourself as a master's in education MED, then you need to have research experience and that's why year three comprises of uh, a research dissertation or capstone project and for which you we have already started giving you basic uh, a groundwork knowledge of educational research. So this is the structure of three years and look at the career opportunities that so far we have experienced that students who have graduated from our institute have been engaging as faculties of education, curriculum developer, policy analyst, educational planner and administrator, principals, um, you know, researchers in various organization. And then if you go just with the BA degree, you have, uh, uh, you know, uh, opportunities as PGTs. And if you come to us with a postgraduate de degree already, then you can be a PGT as well. Um, there's one more aspect, which I'll just quickly lay out before you is that for MED, you have to have a bachelor's in education degree to enter into MED. But be it, you can be a graduate or a postgraduate in any discipline of your choice. So those are the eligibility criteria. And now rest is CUET. So we will go back to the common room to understand more on CUET. Quick questions on the program or anything that you would like us to address. <clears throat> आपके सवाल वैसे हिंदी में भी हो सकते हैं। We are uh, quite multilingual. Yes, a multilingual, yes. But the program is in English, and so yes. please feel free to ask us questions. I don't see anything in the chat, but if you have any, do let us know. Uh, Good evening, ma'am. Yeah, go ahead, Shiti. Yes. I'm Shiti Patel, and currently I'm enrolled into BA BA Integrated Program at Indian Institute of Teacher Education. So my question is that uh, my BA degree is focusing on my major subject is Gujarati, but my medium of instruction for BA program is English. So would I be able to pursue pedagogic specialization in English? See, uh, I think you are coming to us uh, who would already have a BA degree, which means you would come to us yes, for your MED. MED. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Yes. Uh, yes, I think you can pursue. You can pursue. It will depend, but your pedagogic, because English generally opens up to think. other subjects, but it will also depend on how much of English for you to get a career opportunity. Technically, yes, you can study. For you to have a career progression, it would also have depended how many papers you had of English in your undergraduate and your, um, at least in your undergraduate level. Does that help you, Shiti? Uh, yes, ma'am. And another question I have is that uh, for, uh, as you told us about the BA MED uh, integrated program, so I believe that there would be some uh, differentiation in the MED and uh, BA MED integrated program, uh, such papers or we can say such internship, such ideas, because uh, people who had already done BA, they would have gone for the uh, school internship and other things. So I was wondering about it. Yeah, uh, Richard can yeah. also. So it. those who uh, enter for MED, uh, they are not required to go for a school internship. Uh, uh, basically, uh, also with respect to pedagogic specialization, I would like you to bring. I would like to bring to your attention to the fact that we have more specializations you it, you need not to just take pedagogic specialization being an emmet person in fact for emmet teacher education is essential and compulsory specialization because that yes so yes you would not You're, have to do some of the be it courses uh, but you will do some with them because they are also preparing for it but there yeah. are professional competency courses. You will also be able to take more advanced specializations and uh, what we call optional advanced disciplinary courses in a sense, OADC. But that will, I mean, the courses are going to be under professional competency courses, educational elective courses, 
and uh, you know they, there you will be able to do but you will have something that is a year long internship because you will have to do that and the research or the capstone project does that help yes answer? ma'am yes ma'am yes ma'am thank you yeah thank you for that question any other a person who is All right. Uh, if you have any questions, any queries or doubts, we will be sharing email IDs with uh, y'all. And uh, if you just search for us at TIS and CET and B at Emmet, even if you don't remember, the, the link is very simple, bit.ly uh, bit.ly slash CET underscore B at Emmet. But if you have anything, uh, you can definitely look through it. I think they would like us to join the main room and we can continue having our questions there. So maybe just do that. Yeah. Thank you. See you in the main room, everyone.